Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning viewers and praise the Lord once again. We welcome you to this uh devotion. The Lord is continuing to speak to you and to me even as I share with you uh, on this platform. The Lord has been good. We've been looking at the the journey of faith. We looked at many things. But this particular morning, I want us to look at the rewards of our faith. The rewards of our faith. And I'll be reading from the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, a very common scripture that many of us quote. The book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. The Bible says this, and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who come to him must believe that he exists and that he reward those who earnestly seek him. He reward those who earnestly seek him. Rewards of our faith. Rewards of our faith. Who rewards our our faith? It is God. So we must keep our eyes on him. I said when we are beginning let our eyes be fixated on him because he rewards those who earnestly seek him. The word earnest means you do not just seek God as a by the way. You seek God on a very serious matter. It is a very uh sad state that some of us even come to church late. Some of us when we are in the church we just look like we are not praying. You are just on our phones. Yeah, or a phone rings and you think you can just walk out and come. That is not earnest seeking. In reverence seeking is that you put off all distractors. I was wondering why we close our eyes. I believe that we we close our eyes to avoid distractions. We earnestly seek him. We close our eyes to the things that may make us not be able to focus ourselves on God. God is inviting us. to look unto him he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him as some version say it is about diligence diligence of seeking god when we are going before god and presenting our gifts as much as go, some of us I, i look at some places some people go with reverence when they are giving their offering yes we should be able to give unto god with reverence worshiping with reverence kneel down bow down do everything that we do diligently honestly doing it as unto God not man for many of you when you are going even before a uh, man like your governor or your president i see the way you walk very well very nice you okay when you are making a presentation on serious people you make a serious presentation how comes on the things of god we just do our own things we don't look at um uh, we don't look at the standards we do we just appear anyhow we we don't dress for the occasion we don't feel like we you just feel like it's only in church you can do it yeah we've made church to look like any other place in fact even some businesses are serious than church i want to ask you and be able to request you this morning consider to look at god because he rewards us even our clap we give them even the offering we give to god is it worthy for him who has called us to this work he will reward us for our service not because of the amount of offering but i'm looking at the sacrifice of the heart the preparation of the heart how do we go before the heart because some of the things that are mentioned are manifestation of our hearts when we are arrogant when we are our attitude is negative it reflects what is in our heart i want you to consider your heart because your heart will consider what god will reward you with and for and god he wants you to be able to walk a journey of faith faithfully he wants you to be able to do great things for him by focusing and knowing he is the rewarder some of us get a small stipend small salary from the it is not the reward of our service our service to god is more than that Somebody told me one of my former boss he told me there are three people that never should never go on strike and this is a doctor a teacher and a pastor let me tell you the essence of that thing is that when you are touching humanity your salary and your remuneration is with God and God wants you to look unto him do not look at what you receive at the end of the month do not look at what you receive at the end of the week do not look at those dividends you get go and give yourself to god for many of you maybe you go to churches and remind yourself that i'm just a mere volunteer let me tell you you are not just a mere volunteer in god's service in god's uh, uh, payroll you are esteemed highly and god wants you to consider that 
in the name of Jesus, I'm asking you to reconsider and consider that in all your endeavors. I pray that God will bless you and God will walk with you and do great things to your life this morning as you look unto him and know that is the reward of what we do. For many of us think that by virtue that maybe you have moved to the higher way, you receive a high tithe, you receive higher salary, that's not the reward God is giving you. His reward is with him. I want to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Thank you for our viewers. I pray for our attitude. Forgive us, O God. Forgive us, O King. The Lord, we are not going to look unto ourselves and imagine that, Lord, the reward is what people have said. Those good words people have said or not said, or the salary we have received, or those dividends, or those gifts. But we may look unto you who rewards those who diligently seek you. Your reward is bigger than what many people have said and done to us. I pray that you open up our eyes. We may do the right thing, knowing that you reward us, O oh God. We may touch humanity, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all of us, even as we get into the day. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.